Sup guys, how are we doing and welcome back to a new YouTube video. So this YouTube video is going to be a little bit different than the rest. So I was doing my Tesco order online and I was looking for protein bars and I noticed they had an offer for carb killers. These ones right here for two for four pounds and when I was thinking at the same time of what to do for my next YouTube video I kind of put the two and two together. So in this YouTube video I will be rating not one not two, not three, but four carb killers. So as I am on prep, I will not be eating all four. Um, I will be cutting off little bits of each and giving them a try. Macros on carb killer bars, you have 23 grams of protein, eight grams of fat, and 13 grams of carbohydrates. So not a bad protein bar. Must be remembered that protein bars aren't the source. They still have a high quantity of fat and just because you're getting your protein in doesn't necessarily mean it's healthy for you. But they are a fantastic supplement to have and if you're on the go, they're, they're amazing. So starting off, we have the white chocolate cookie and this is the one that I have tried. I actually hate people munching and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try so hard not to munch and talk at the same time. So, first one. So first bar, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, highly, highly recommend this one. It's a little bit sickly, but uh, white chocolate is unfortunately. White chocolate cookie, 8 out of 10, solid. So these next three I haven't actually tried, so these are going to be a bit of a trial and error, but we're going to go with it. Next up we have Caramel Chaos. Worst thing of this is that caramel dribble. If you know about caramel dribble, <laughs> then you know when it goes across your face. You're you're speaking, you just have this bit of caramel down your face, and someone's just like, "There's a bit of caramel on your face." Overall, not too bad. I think it has raisins in, which makes that a little bit weird. Not sure. Let me check if there's raisins. There are no raisins, people, but there are little weird black things in there, which I'm guessing is chocolate. <laughs> so overall, the aftertaste is a little bit strange. Um, still quite a nice protein bar, especially if you're hungry. Um, I'd only give that a 6.5 out of 10. So next up, we have the fudge brownie, and I love brownies, and I can't believe I've never tried this one before. So, here goes. Mmm. That's good. That is up there with the white chocolate cookie, but... It's not quite on its level. Fudge brownie, 7.8. Fourth and final one, we have the Jaffa Quake, which is quite a clever name. I rate that highly. So I've always been put off this one because I don't really like orange with chocolate or anything fruit-wise with chocolate. Going in with the Jack Quake. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. I actually don't mind it too much. I don't think I could eat loads of that because it's a bit sickly with the chocolate orange. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I do appreciate this is a good protein bar. 7.5 out of 10. So all half decent protein bars, um, I really like the brand, Grenades, um, Carb Killers are the one, but this has got to still be my favourite, the white chocolate cookie. I know a lot of non-gym people that actually like this protein bar, because it does taste like a normal chocolate bar. So highly, highly recommend this one. Others are decent too, but if you want a protein bar out and about, this is your one. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.